Welcome back to the tutorial everyone and in this lecture we're going to be discussing if statements and it's just another way to control our program and execute code as we want basically. So the way if statements work is all you have to do is type in if and then you're going to type in condition. So what condition that is true that if it's true then you can execute something else. So that's what we want to know. So in that case I'm going to use brackets. You don't have to use brackets but this is where your condition goes. Okay it just helps us be organized. I can also write it like this, right? And then after your condition is true, you're going to type in colon. And then within the tab indentation, it means you're in the if statement. So if I go here and type in my code, none of this code is in the if statement. So this will execute regardless. But if I go here, then I'm indented. It means then whatever happens with this condition if this condition true or if this condition is true then that's the only time you execute this code here so all this code is conditional this will only get executed if this condition is true all right so let's go through an example okay let's say you have var temp uh, you know this is 35 celsius and you have var humidity equals 70 so this is like you know 70 percent humidity or whatever right let's make this 80 this is actually pretty bad uh, okay then I want to give you like a statement so I'm gonna say if the temperature is greater than 35 or greater than or equal than 35 then if that's the case I want to do something I want to print something to the screen so this is how you do it I'm gonna say if temp is greater than or equal so we know this operation from our previous tutorials and uh, we're gonna say 35 okay so we're gonna see if that's the case if it's true then echo you know uh, it's hot outside okay so this is gonna be uh, the control statement and I'm gonna go here and print this And it's going to print it's hot outside. Why? Because this condition is true. All right. Now, what if you want multiple conditions in the same if statements? Well, that's also possible. We can go here and say, and so that's how you combine statements. You can say, and humidity, you know, is greater than or equal to 80. So we're going to say, if that's the case, then we're going to print it's bad outside. All right. So let's test this out. I'm going to compile this. And it's going to print it's bad outside. Why? Because both of these cases are true. If I put something else here and said humidity is less than 80, then obviously this is not the case here. It's actually greater than equal. And this is going to fail as expected. See, it's not going to print anything. Now, we can change the conditions with OR as well. So we can use the OR operator like this. And we're going to say if temperature is greater than or equal to 35 or humidity is less than 80, then print this uh, statement right here. So in this case, the humidity is not less than 80. It's actually uh, equal to 80. So this is going to fail. But this one is actually true. It is greater than or equal to 35. So this one's going to pass. And because one of them is going to pass because of this or statement, it means the whole condition is going to pass. So this whole thing becomes true and it's going to print this out. So if I go again and it's going to print it's bad outside. So that's how you use the if with the and and or. So you can append multiple conditions here as much as you like. And uh, you can be as flexible as you like with your own uh, logic or condition. Okay. Let's say we want to print something else. We don't want to just stop and say it's bad outside. If it's less than 30, 35 and it's pretty nice outside, we want to print something else. Okay. So it's nice day today. And we want to say else. So that's how we use the statement. It ends with else. So if this is true, do A or do this else so if none of this is true then do the other thing so i'm going to echo you know uh it's not bad 
outside. So I'm going to print this one. Okay. And oops, I forgot to put the colon, so don't forget that. Okay. So if this one passes, I print this. Otherwise, I print this one. Th this is what it means. So I'm going to make this fail on purpose. So I'm going to say, uh, you know, I'm going to make this 34. So this is going to fail. And this is definitely going to fail. So let's test this out. And it's going to print this not by outside. Why? Because this entire block failed and it jumped to this one immediately. Now, what if you have more than one condition you want to test out? Well, that's also possible. Maybe it's bad or maybe it's not bad. But what if it's somewhere in between, right? In that case, I'm going to say if or elif, which means else if. OK, so else if. So this one, you have to specify condition as well. Temp is less than or equal to 34, right? Then I'm going to echo it's meh, it's whatever, right? So this one means if this is true, print this. If this is not true, then check with the other statement and print this. And if this is not true, well, there are no other statements to check. Print this regardless. OK, so let's test this out. And it's going to print the middle one, of course. So that's how if statements work. So to recap, you use if statements to control your code execution according to however you want it to be executed. And based on that, it's going to affect the way you do algorithms, the way you write programs, the way you write games, systems, etc., etc. So this is a pretty useful, uh, um, you know, basic programming skill involved with NIM and not just NIM as a programming language, but with other programming languages. So I hope this tutorial was very helpful for you guys and uh, I'll see you next lecture. Peace.